Hey there, my name is John Siskovich, and while I do love chickens and I've been doing a, diff a lot of different things on farm, my newest passion has been raising or keeping bees. And uh, this is my weaker hive. We're going to pull out one, uh, a couple of the bars to explain top bar hives in this video. I've been doing updates around the farm and I just wanted to show you what I've been getting into with the bees. So I've got my tools lined up here. I keep a little paint brush for whisking bees away. I like it better than the big uh, full-on bee brush. Uh, I have my hive tool, which is good for, it's, it's a mini crowbar, and you can do lots of stuff with it. Uh, I'm finding out more and more how useful this thing is to have on hand. Uh, I got my smoker, which is full of pine needles that is smoldering, just in case. Uh, I need to calm everybody down, but haven't been using it that much. I'm actually gonna put it down for this video. I don't smoke myself out. Uh, and then I'm here at the top bar hive. I like the top bar hives uh, because everything is at waist level. Uh, the bees are growing on these slats right here. Uh, and as you'll see in a minute, they build that comb down from that slat and I can work. Everything is where I need it. This is the most fun livestock I've ever worked with because they're not going anywhere. Uh, they're super mellow and uh, especially this hive is not that strong. Uh, and everything I need to take care of them I can fit within a box. They're like the greatest backyard homestead or you know you could scale it up to a big scale or do it on other people's properties but it's a minimal a minimal size investment but I'm finding a ton of knowledge investment. So with the top bar hives um, <clears throat> you have bars like this that have a little ridge here and they're gonna build the comb down on that ridge. You start them over I have well, that, that's one of the types of boards. It's the bar itself, and then, excuse me, excuse me, last, uh, and then a follower board, which is a wall, which is just solid wood. Um, a couple bees going at it on there. A uh, solid piece of wood so that they don't have this entire space. I want to keep them small so they uh, start to concentrate in one area, and then they're going to build out from there. And as I uh, they build out, I'm going to add more of these bars in, and then when they reach this edge, I'm going to shift the whole colony down to make use out of this whole entire space. Right now, not using the entire space. So to give you a quick look on bees, because I know you guys are anxious to see how this all works out, I'm just going to slide everybody down here. We'll pull out one with some comb built on it, and check this out, ba-doom, ba-doom. So I'm being careful about how I pick it up, how I turn it, how that uh, supports itself. And this is covered in worker bees and some drone. I have an old queen cell that blew out uh, because I have to requeen this. And I have to figure that out. I just don't know what I'm doing because I'm a I'm beginning beekeeper. Um, but this is just fantastic. So they'll go through on a, every single bar. They'll build out more comb like this. Uh, they'll have their brood comb where they're making more babies and building the colony and then eventually they'll be starting to store honey for the winter uh, and they'll have the honey uh, bars as well which is kind of just you know that's the gold stuff that's what you want you see this blue tape on here because I know I'm gonna get some questions um, my hive wasn't perfectly level I had to level it out but they built some cross comb which means if this is my bar they were building comb like this at an angle uh, and I had to break one off straighten this one out a little bit after I leveled everything and then I took the one that I cut off and I taped it on here and what will happen is they chew through the painters tape after they've reattached the bar uh, the comb onto the bar uh, and they'll chew up and spit out the painters tape out the front door because they're very clean uh, bees so let's put everything back together and get these girls just back to doing their business I've disturbed them enough for one day and for now, I will bid you a fond farewell, ladies. After I close everything up, I'll make sure I've gathered my tools. I'll put the lid back on, and then I write what I did on the lid. Also, when I'm doing this, I keep my phone out, and I take pictures so that I can send them to my bee friends and ask them questions because I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Uh, I thought I did. You know, you get into it, and you're like, this has got to be pretty simple. But like most things in agriculture, the devil is in the details, and uh, figuring all this stuff out has been quite the steep learning curve. Um, that's it for bees right now. If you have top bar questions, <laughs> 
<laughs> That's it for bees right now. If you have top bar questions, I actually would actually direct you to Gold Star Honeybees. Uh, it's, I think it's goldstarhoneybees.com and she has a YouTube channel as well with a bunch of uh, videos that she shot back in the day. Uh, but Christy Hemingway is a gem. And as I take pictures and video, I send them to her and say, Christy, I don't know what I'm doing. Please help me. Uh, and she has been great with the responses. Uh, these have been awesome for this year and I'll do more updates as I learn more and do more with bees. And uh, I will be branching out into the, the square Langstroth hives next year and be raising both side by side. It's nice to see the comparison of the two and figure out as I know I want to grow as an apiarist uh, which model I want to grow in. Uh, so this has been as much a passion project, project as a educational tool as uh, something that we hope to use in the future. But as bees don't require work every day, uh, this has been nice for me to balance with all the other things that I have to do on farm. Thanks for taking the time to watch the update. And uh, yeah, stay tuned to tomorrow. We're gonna go to a different spot on the farm and I will show you what's happening there. See you guys, bye-bye.